How to get the most range out of your battery? What are the best charging practice for your Tesla? These are the question that most of the EV users have in their mind. So today we have brought you an answer to these questions. The details that we are going to share today comes from Tesla itself and not any other sources so as to not spread any misinformation. Let's check out all the details. So let's get started. First of all, we'll discuss about how to get maximum range and then discuss the best charging practices. When it comes to electric vehicles, range is the all-important stat. Whether or not you will make it to the next public charging spot or are able to complete your daily commute or are instead stranded on the side of the road depends on it. Most EV range discussions are centered around the EPA combined range, as that's the one that's published prominently on your Tesla's window sticker. So, today we'll discuss how can you get the most range from your Tesla's battery. First of all, let's take a look at what Tesla has to say to help you get the most out of your battery. Your driving behaviors and environment play a big role in achievable range. Frequent stop-and-go driving, inclement weather, and uphill driving put a natural strain on the battery. To maximize range, it's important to watch your driving speed and enable regenerative braking when possible. As you drive, be mindful of common reasons, your range may decrease more rapidly. High driving speeds, stop-and-go driving, short trips, uphill travel, inclement weather, such as rain, snow, and headwinds. Now, some of the other basics, quite honestly, will also help gas cars get better mileage. Number 1. Be sure to maintain the car's tire pressure. Now you can find that information on the inside of the driver's side door jam. For example, this Tesla has 42 PSI. Number 2. Remove any unnecessary cargo to help lighten the load. More weight requires more energy to move the car. Number 3. If you have a roof rack or bike rack on the rear of the car, be sure to remove them when not in use. This will obviously help reduce added drag. You can also reduce aerodynamic drag by making sure all of the windows are up, and if you have air suspension, such as in the Model S and X, drop it to low or very low when driving on the highway and use the aero wheel covers if you have them. One of the many advantages electric cars have over gas cars is the ability to take the energy created from slowing down and braking and putting it back into the battery. Tesla recommends that you take full advantage of this by setting the regenerative braking to standard and even better on one-pedal driving to help control and avoid rapid acceleration and deceleration, which uses more energy. Tesla also recommends setting your car to chill mode. Now, as we know that cold weather can have a big impact on your range, and here are some of the things Tesla recommends to help reduce those impacts. Number 1. Keep your Tesla plugged in whenever possible, this will help the battery retain some heat. Number 2. Precondition the battery before turning on your Tesla. When possible, plug in and charge while you precondition. Preconditioning your battery is very easy, it's as simple as going into the Tesla app and either turning on the heater or defroster. The best way for this to be effective is if you're plugged in, otherwise it will use the battery power to precondition itself. You can also use scheduled departure, which is essentially a timer in the car set for the time you plan to leave the next day. Simply plug in your car and it will be charged to the level you set and preconditioned for optimal performance based on the time you'll be leaving. If you live in a cold climate, Tesla also recommends you watch for the snowflake icon. A blue snowflake icon may appear on your touchscreen if your car battery is too cold to access all of its stored energy. When this icon is displayed, you may also notice that battery power and regenerative braking are limited. Once the battery is warmed, the snowflake will disappear. Charging, driving, and preconditioning are all ways to warm your battery quicker. Number 3. Limit high use of heat and air conditioning. Instead use seat heaters to keep cabin climate at an optimal temperature. 
Now other than mentioning limited use of air conditioning, Tesla doesn't have a lot about driving in hot temperatures. They do mention to keep the air conditioning on during supercharging, to help keep the cabin temperature cool, also using energy from the grid rather than the battery. So in conclusion, there are a lot of ways to help you get the most range out of your battery. The most challenging time of the year to do this is during the colder winter months, making the car less efficient. And Tesla has provided several tips to limit that impact, as outlined in this video. Most of these tips are common sense, while others require a little more knowledge about the car to take full advantage of them. Now it's also important to note that, what are your charging practices? So now let's discuss about the best charging practices, which impacts your EV range too. A very common question that most of us have is, how much should I charge my battery on a daily basis? And, how low can I let it go? There are a lot of opinions about the best practices. Some say, you should only charge to 70% on a daily basis, while others say 80 or 90%. There are even some people who think it's okay to charge to 100% every day. But what does Tesla say about all of this? Well, let's start with how Tesla defines charging habits. Charging habits include how often you charge, what voltage charger is used, and how long the car stays plugged in. These can all have a direct impact on range depletion. Adopting healthy charging habits can also improve range. Now there's actually a lot to unpack here, so let's start with Tesla's statement of how often you charge. When asked, what's the best way to charge a Tesla? They answer by saying, we recommend plugging in every evening to top off the battery. This ensures you always wake up to a fully charged Tesla. Now it is worth mentioning that what they mean by always wake up to a fully charged Tesla does not necessarily mean a battery charge to 100% but we'll go over that later. Now, many of us most likely use rechargeable nickel-cadmium batteries before which have what is known as the memory effect. Now, this is when the battery gradually loses its maximum capacity if it's repeatedly charged only after being partially discharged, and the best practice is to fully discharge the battery before charging to preserve the lifetime of the battery. If that's what you've been trained to do, and have used in the past, then your natural reaction to the Tesla battery is to fully discharge it before charging. But Tesla states, Tesla uses lithium-ion batteries, so there is no memory effect, this means there is no need to deplete the battery before charging. We recommend plugging in as often as possible. Tesla also mentions this in the owner's manual. There is no advantage to waiting until the battery's level is low before charging. In fact, the battery performs best when charged regularly. Tesla also discourages discharging the battery to 0%. They say, discharging the battery to 0% may result in damage to the vehicle components. Now let's take a look at what Tesla means by what voltage charger is used. This simply means what type of charger is best for daily charging. Tesla recommends level 2 charging and they go on to say, maintain a regular everyday charging routine using a low voltage charger. It's best to rely on high voltage charging, that is supercharging, only when necessary. So does this mean you run the risk of damaging the battery if you supercharge every day? Well according to Tesla, the peak charging rate of the battery may decrease slightly after a large number of high rate charging sessions, such as those at superchargers. This may sound alarming, but the beautiful part is, even if you do use superchargers frequently, Tesla has taken steps to help protect the battery, no matter what condition the battery is in. Tesla says, to ensure maximum driving range and battery safety, the battery charge rate is decreased when the battery is too cold, when it is nearly full, or when its condition changes with usage and age. These changes in the condition of the battery may increase total supercharger time by a few minutes over time. In the end, Tesla states several times on their website that it's always best to only use superchargers when necessary, like road trips, or when you need a quick charge, otherwise level 1 or 2 charging is best for daily charging to help maintain your battery's health. Now let's find out 
what Tesla says about how long the car stays plugged in. In the owner's manual of the Tesla Model 3, Tesla states the following. Model 3 has one of the most sophisticated battery systems in the world. The most important way to preserve the battery is to leave your vehicle plugged in when you're not using it. Now, leaving the car plugged in, it helps keeps the battery warm during cold temperatures and improving the range, but there are other reasons to leave it plugged in. Tesla further goes on to say, this is particularly important if you are not planning to drive Model 3 for several weeks. When plugged in, the Model 3 wakes up when needed to automatically maintain a charge level that maximizes the lifetime of the battery. Now let's go to one of the more controversial battery charging topics, what percent should you charge the battery on a daily basis? Well, we are going to make this as simple as possible by starting with a detail from the Tesla's website. For regular use, we recommend keeping your car set within the daily range bracket up to approximately 90%. Charging up to 100% is best saved for when you are preparing for a longer trip. Now, the daily range bracket is seen on the charging screen in the car and also in the app. The range bracket varies between the lowest at 50% to the highest at 90. That's it, it's as simple as that. Tesla does not indicate which percentage is better, but they do mention this. Whenever possible, don't let the battery go above 90 or below 20. So to summarize what Tesla says about what percentage to charge to on a daily basis, they recommend charging anywhere between 50 and 90% and say it's best to avoid charging above 90% and letting it drop below 20 whenever possible. In conclusion, for anyone who has researched the best charging practices for a Tesla battery, you probably discovered you can quickly find yourself going deeper and deeper into a rabbit hole. So after many experts and opinions on what's best for the battery, and in the end, you find yourself with more questions and concerns than before. But, if you trust what Tesla has to say about this topic, following the guidelines that have been addressed in this video should be very simple. Keep your car plugged in whenever possible. Use level 1 or 2 charging during your daily routine. And save supercharging for road trips. Set your daily charging level to max out between 50 and 90 percent, while also trying to avoid letting it drop below 20 percent and charging to 100 whenever possible. Outside of that, Tesla's got you covered with software to help maintain and protect the battery. Hopefully, this video would have proved helpful in discovering a few things about the best charging practices and how to maximize your Tesla's range. We hope that should help ease your mind. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.